Hi guys, welcome to my channel Sunday Beach Tarot. So today I'm back again with another reading on my series on the one-on-one -on -one relationship between BTS members. Um, I'm feeling a little bit sick today, but I don't know why I am really called to do this reading. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's do it, but before we get into the reading, just the usual warnings, this is not about ship. Um, I'm merely looking at the connection, the spiritual connection, energetic connection between two people, two souls. Um, and I don't cherry pick the cards, uh, nor sugarcoating anything. I'll, I'll say anything that I pick up from the cards, basically what that is. Um, and um, yeah, I have... Um, I think now that this is going to be the 11th readings that we're doing and I have um, the units in this jar, I'm just going to randomly pick one um, to see which unit are we doing a reading on today. Um, Jin, Jingi, what have this uh, seen? Uh, it's Jin and Yingi. Oh, this is interesting. Um, this is really interesting because I've been watching uh, BTS in the soup lately, right? Um, and their bonds are shown in a very special way in that um, in that documentary. Is that documentary in that show? Um, so yeah, that would be really interesting to look into it today. I'm excited. Um, let me move this around, and I will also be inserting um, like a spread explaining how this reading works. Um, yeah, so ooh, I'm going to use this on Yungi's perspective. Uh, this can be on Jin's perspective. And this deck is going to be on the um, uh, core energy. The I lost the words today. The, um, <laughs> it's going to be on the foundation of their relationship. Uh, on the, the common or the shared energy between them. So, oops. So, we're looking at um, the connection between Jin and Yunki. I lost a card. Um, wait. Yep, so we're looking at the connection, the relationship between uh, Jin and Yunki. From past, present, and future, um, the first card is going to be their relationship in the past, how it started, um, what happened up until this point. So we got one right there. We've got the Nine of Chalices. This is interesting because both of them, both of them are introverts, um, and and Nine of Chalices doesn't usually give off the vibes of an introvert um, even though he could be um, but it just tells me that they get on really well at the beginning like even I don't know but I don't know if I can say this but uh, th there is like instant mutual interest between them when they first met no, it's, it's not like romantic interest, but it's got this kind of feeling you get when you meet someone and you like instantly go, oh, I can get, oh, I get on really well with this person. Um, that's what I get from from Jin and Yoongi. Maybe that's why they like, they just want, they just want the other person to be their roommate for like how many times, does it doesn't matter how many times they change their dorm. They were always going to be roommate because they get on really well with each other and it's like a, it's not like an, a silent mutual uh, agreement. Like between Jin and Jimin, it's like a, like they tell, they say it to each other, like, hey, I really like you, like, hey, we got get on really well with each other and let's agree to do this together. Um, and like, the um, they inspire one another a lot and they they would drag the other person to do things that they wouldn't normally do, like like how Jin uh, dragged Yoongi to go fishing with him, or how Yoongi 
influenced into do some readings or or um, learning some instruments. I feel like that's kind of thing, but um, maybe because of the the waves like this, like a, a surge of emotion or like something that is really li uh, lively and something that is really like, um, I don't know, it just makes me feel like um, it's a really li a lively and active energy and uh, it comes with a lot of fun. So um, I feel like in the past or at the beginning when they first um, got to know each other, Jin will always be the one who like initiated um, things to do together between them, uh, but also Yoongi would go along like immediately, like whatever you say, Hyung Ho, let's do it. He would not oppose to Jin, like like how, how easily or how joy, um, joyful this person is riding the wave. So if, if Jin is the wave like this, Yoongi would happily ride with him. Um, they, they can have a lot of fun together. That's what I'm hearing. It's such a really nice card to start with. Um, hmm. Yes, um, and oh, now that I'm paying attention to this um, monster um, of the rivers, of the river, um, so if you like their, their connection or their relationship it goes beyond um, it goes it goes beyond normal expectations uh, maybe like other members or even fans they would not expect them to have this such a fun um, dynamic and such a lively and active uh, relationship between them but actually they are um, I feel like a lot of us was kind of surprised when watching the soup uh, as well because we would not think that like I'm not maybe it's just my opinion but I, I feel like I saw a lot of people uh, getting surprised by the way uh, Yoongi and, and Jin have so much fun together um, just doing like silly things but um, I feel like it, it goes their connection their relationship goes beyond a lot of people's expectation. Um, um, and it is something feels like a blessing to them, like something refreshing in their normal um, cycle. Like Jin doesn't have any friends like Yoongi and Yoongi doesn't have any friends like Jin. Um, they're very unique to each other. Um, it's like it's like a refreshing breeze that the other person is like a refreshing breeze or the relationship it feels like a re refreshing breeze that blows it blowed into their life and like I don't know, life lighten it up or is that the word like make it more lively and make it more fun it's just a very it's just very nice energy um So now we're looking at the current situation of um, Yoongi and Jin's relationship. We've got two cards, we've got mm, four pentacles and five of wands. Uh, this is interesting. interesting um why do we have this fight well it's okay let's talk about the four pentacles um i feel like to them this relationship is this connection between them is very precious um it's not something that they would like to share with other people or they would like to disclose it or the um dispose expose it or they would like to show it off to people that's kind of feeling with this man holding on to his coins um also uh, they don't want they don't want an, another third roommate in, roommate in their room 
Uh, they, they just want to be the two of them sharing a room together. Um, did, did, did you hear someone say, let's share a room, let's, let's be roommate for as long as we can or something along the line like that? Um, I feel like within their room or between them, they've established a really solid um, boundaries, not like like they created this environment and atmospheres between them that they don't want other people to come and stir it up. Um, it feels like other people wouldn't understand their born um, or like because they seem to be very different, very two different personalities but that that people would not normally expect them to get on this well together but they do um, and they've established something really solid between them uh, that they don't they don't need people to understand or they don't need approval from people um, they also don't want people to to pick into it too much as well like it's very the connections are very is very precious to them uh, and they don't want to share what they have with other people. That's what I feel like uh, with this four of coins. Um, and somehow, I like when we look into this man, um, there is a feeling of um, cautious, of caution um, that. That, that they are cautious of other people trying to mess up with this relationship? I don't know. Um, maybe they, they don't want people to interpret it in the wrong way. Um, or they, put people, they don't want people to take it in the wrong way. Um, I don't know, but there is just this feeling of really keeping to themselves. Um, with this um, connection and then we've got the five of wands um, the five of wands always speaks about conflicts um, and something that is messy and unorganized um, to me I don't I don't know, I don't feel like this is about this, I don't feel like this is their feelings about their their connection or their relationship, it's the feeling about this uh, four of pentacles, um, like it's conflicting for them to, to keep this connection all to themselves or to somehow to a certain extent display it to fans or to other people to see uh, it's like they deep it's like it's hard for them to think um, whether they should let people know that they are this close or they should just give it the way um, it is uh, let's draw another card um, to clarify this five of wands because clarify this five of wands where we're getting this five of wands for the current energy between Chin and Unity. Okay, we've got five of wands. This is Interesting. <gasps> you know what I get? I suddenly got this. <laughs> like, but I, I, I don't usually do that. But uh, does someone? I feel like. Wow. Well, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna say this. Uh, if you watch my other readings on Yungi's, all the readings from Yungi. Uh, 
And also, if you have been observing Yungi these past few months, it is quite obvious that he is in love. Um, and if, and this Queen of Wands is the person that 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 Yungi is dating. Uh, a very um, strong, passionate, feminine energy. I feel like it is a woman. They are a woman. This person is a woman. Even though I always say that I don't like to um, uh, assume anyone's preferences. But uh, with this card, I strongly feel that this is a, um, a woman or someone with a very strong, uh, strong and determined and passionate feminine energy. And um, somehow she's interfering with this connection between Jin and Yang. I don't know why I'm saying this, but uh, please don't come at me if this sounds ridiculous. But um, I'm just gonna say everything I'm getting. Uh, okay, because because of this four of pentacles and and everything that I said uh, about it, and then uh, with the appearing with appearance at the appearing of this love interest for you, it feels like uh, the the connection between Jin and Yungi is being threatened by. Yungi's new relationship is. I'm not saying that um, Jin and Yungi were in a romantic connection or something. Uh, no, but it's because of the exclusive feeling between them two. Uh, it's like it's like you and your best friend are having a really, really good uh, relationship between you two, and then suddenly your best friend ha have a date or have a girlfriend or boyfriend. And then they they started to spend less time with you, and they started to, you know, it feels like the the attention shifted. Um, it feel like something was taken from you. And most of the time, it would feel like that. Um, and I feel like Jin is feeling that way because Jin Jin said he doesn't have many friends, and Yungi is one of the friends that he really really treasured. Um, and 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 that's. It's it's easy for it's easy for him to feel like Yungi's uh, attention and priorities on him is lessened because Yungi has to spend more time with his new love interest, that kind of thing. Um, and then and but then at the same time, Jin will understand that it's ridiculous to feel that way, um, but he can't help to feel neglected a little bit by his best friend. Um, so hence the five of wands, um, and probably Yunyi would feel that as well, but, uh, but not as much as Jin would feel. So, uh, but this is this is not something too um, provocative, or this is not something too like alarming. Um, it's, it's normal if you have a best friend and your best friend started dating someone, you feel like, oh my god, I'm neglected. Uh, but I don't feel it's gonna go on for long. Um, it's just a temporary feelings, I guess. Um, it's like when you have a roommate and and your roommate doesn't come home for your usual late night bedtime story or whatever, and you feel like, oh my god. Um, Oh my God, I'm being like I'm being abandoned or something. No, um, but I feel like it's, it's, it's easy. It's easy for Jane to feel like this four pentacles um, with this situation. Also, like with everything's going on in the world right now, it's easy to feel like that. Uh, but they don't live together anymore, so um, maybe it's not like it's just something that that bothers him a little bit. Uh, but at the same time, he knows that it's just, it's just temporary because the five of wands is a very, it's a temporary um, energy as well. So we're looking at the future possibility of uh, the connection between Yuki and Jin. 
we have the Eight of Chalices. Um, Eight of Chalices. Uh, so I feel like, well, <laughs> I think I'll have to like consider whether or not to, up to upload this reading because for the things I don't care. I put out a warning. Um, but, but with with these uh, Eight of Chalices, I feel like they wouldn't talk about this situation and they just move on like that, like, like they they know that there is something, there's a glitch in their connection, in their relationship with each other, uh, but they would not talk about it, they would just brush it off and, and move on. Um, and this reminds me of... Uh, because I I was watching BTS in the Super and um, I was I was watching the uh, conversation between Taeyong and Jungkook um, and they said something. Well, basically the conversation is is about them and their connection being. Um, it got awkward at some point and they didn't talk about it, um, and then eventually they just kind of like drifted apart or they just felt more awkward to watch each other because they didn't they didn't address the issue um when it was new um but in in BTS in the ship in the ship they talked it out and hopefully resolved the problem between them but I feel like Yoongi and, and Jin is gonna get into that stage of like didn't want to talk to talk about this one thing that makes it awkward between them uh and they were just like Try to try try to ignore it and just move on like that. Um, it's it's strange. We started with the Nada chalices, um, and we oh okay, and we ended up with the Eight chalices. Okay, um, I don't know. I just I wanted to get an, another card to clarify this Eight of chalices. We got the towel, the towel. Um, okay, so the towel talked about uh, an a sudden event or an an uh, an unexpected event that happened and shatter the foundation. Oh my god! Uh, wait, but the towel is is something that happened that turn the table around or it, it it removes or eliminates uh, the things that no longer needed in our life so so when it happens um, we shed the old things in order to clear the space for the new things to come in I'm not saying and I don't feel like the bonds between Jin and, and Yuki is completely broken because of this tower moment but um it's going to transform uh, and eventually I think they would have to address the issue that the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Wands brings about. Um, they can they can only avoid it with the um, Eight of Chalices for not a really long time because they can't just keep walking into this uh, foggy future or like foggy path. Um, they would eventually or Eventually, the the lightning will come and like clear up the fog, um, but they have to. There will there will be some something happen that will clear the mist for them. Um, it's not something that comes from either of them. It comes from outside. So someone would do something, uh, or some unexpected event would happen that makes them have to, that makes them change their behavior or perspectives um, okay let's let, let this okay uh, should I have loved this video or not <laughs> I don't want people to interpret it in the wrong way but I've said everything that I picked up from the cards um, so now we're looking at Jean's perspective on uh, his connection with Yungi so uh, first of all, how Jin sees his connection with Yungi.
gosh. <laughs> we got another towel. Um, we get two towels in a reading. Okay. Uh, I know a lot of people are afraid of this, but every card, every card has is positive and negative um, interpretation, and it depends on what we're having. Um, the, how Jin sees his connection with Yoongi, it, it, is, it is a relationship that changed him from within. Um, it is something that he did not expect to happen to him. Like, Yoongi is the type of friend that Jin would never expect to have. Um, it's a force that... Um, he learned a lot from Yoongi and from his connection with Yoongi. Um, it helped him develop, it helped him to abolish a lot of um, unhelpful things, uh, unhelpful traits that he had. Pro probably his um, insecurities or, or his negative thoughts, something that doesn't serve him in the long run. The relationship with he, uh, between him and Yuki helped him to get rid of those things. Um, and because, we, because when we look into this picture, um, the lightning kind of like struck on this huge tree and burned um, a part of his, what is it, the top of the tree, but the, the foundation remains. So it's just something that, that can regrow and can be better. Um, that's, that's what this relationship is to Jin. Um, and now we look at um, what is Jin's role in this connection with Yoongi. Okay. Um, whew, we've got the... We've got the Four of Wands. And the hero of Um It's interesting. We've got the four ones here right next to the five ones and the hero of So Jean's, Jean's um, role in this in this connection with Yoongi. So if you look with the hero of he's the, the speaker. It goes well with um, with how Jean was the one who like always initiated a conversation or things to do. Um, he he's the one who would speak up in in every situation that like he would speak up for both of them, or he would um, I don't know, he would he would uh, it gives me the sense of he would talks really harshly to anyone that that tried to do something bad to you kind of thing. So like if the situation is not in Yugi's favors. Um, Jean will be the one who who speak up about it, um, and also because the hero is someone really wise, so um, I feel like um, in this connection between them, they um, they talks a lot to each other. Special Jean, he he would um, what did you, what did he, what is the word? Uh, con not confess. Uh, what is the word? It start with con. Uh, <laughs> well, basically, they would uh, talk a lot to each other and share their thoughts and ask for opinions. Um, the communication between them is very strong and very effective, um, especially from Jean's part, um, because they they are both introverts, but somehow they they, they get. Uh, the message across to each other very clearly and in a very effective way. Um, this is, uh, gives me, I, I get the word vision from this. Um, so, really, Jin's role in this religion, he has a lot of, it's not like expectation, but they, he sees a lot of things they can do together uh, and he plans a lot of things. Uh, and he drug Yoongi with him, it's like, it's like he's planning their fishing trips and he would just drag Yoongi out of the house to follow him and Yoongi would follow him, like yeah, that's that's how I feel um, and also Fort Once is the kind of um, like celebration, having fun 
So um, it totally goes well with the Knight of Talises and Jin's role. Um, but it also like the four ones um, gives. It's like building a frame for something. Um, and just when I look at the four pentacles, it's also like Jin has this certain boundaries when it comes to his uh, connection with Yoongi and he would try to maintain that balance he would try to maintain that territory um, for them and then um, how does Jin look at Yoongi and their connection We've got the Six of Pentacles. Um, this is interesting because the Six of Pentacles gives me the feeling of, well, to in in Jin's eyes, um, Yunki is like a. How do I how do I explain this? How what is the word for this? Is there something that Jin has put the work into, and now he's seeing? The result is like Yunki. Oh, but like Jin knows that he he has been there with Yunki throughout his um, personal development. So Jin has seen every size of Yunki throughout this journey of growing up, of um, getting out of depression and getting into the person that Yinki is today. Um, and and Jin is very proud of it. Like he's really proud of Yinki and he's really I know there are this uh, feeling of um, appreciation and admir and admiration and pride. Um, because it's like this tree if this tree is Yungi, Jin was the one who has been like watering it, giving it nutrition and watching over it since since the beginning up until the point where like fruits come out of the tree, like the tree bear, bears fruits and that kind of feeling. So um, to, to Jin, Yungi is truly something really precious, um, something very something very delicate as well um, and it's, it's a slow process or is, is the work of a uh, long and um, it's, a, it's a long and like it requires a lot of efforts process kind of thing um, but definitely he feels really proud of Yoongi um, and admire him as well um, And he knows how fragile Yoongi is and how strong he is as well because for a tree to grow up and bear the coins like this, it has to be very strong, um, very persistent and um, what's the word for it? Um, yeah, persistent and very stubborn as well, like de determined to grow and to develop. Um, now we're looking at Yungi's perspective on this connection between. Um, how does Yungi see his connection with Jin? Oh, okay. Um, we've got the Ten of Pentacles, very nice. Um, and the Ace of Swords. Didn't we get in reverse? Didn't we get this in Jin and Jimin's reading as well? Um, somewhere along the line. Um, okay, so how does Jin see his Jin Yungi? How does Yungi see his connection with Jin? It's definitely something that is at ease. Like it puts him at ease. Um, he can totally trust this connection with Jin, and he can. He can be himself, he can be relaxed around Jin, he can be 
I mean, it reminds me of the time where they when they went fishing together and uh, Yuni was just lying there and sleep on the boat. <laughs> Uh, like like being with each other is very comfortable. It's comfortable. It's comfortable enough for him to let out all of his walls and just just completely be relaxed. And and he can and he trusts in you to do whatever he wants uh, with him. It's it's just very a very relaxed mindset uh, and trustful as well. Like doesn't have there's not a single worry uh, that Yungi has to bear when he it, when he's with Jin or when about this relationship about this connection um, with Ace of Swords in reverse um, maybe I feel like that, that I don't know I get a little bit um, a, a little, some feelings of oppression, um, like, oh no, it's not oppression, it's, oh, it's like, well, sometimes there's something you would like to say, but then he wouldn't say it to to upset, uh, to upset Jin, or he would just he just let it slip for the sake of Jin being happy and like it's like it reminds me again going back to BJ's in the soup is like or when Jin was trying to show Yunki something on the on the computer and even though Yunki had already knew it he pretended that he didn't know so Jin would be happy uh, being like the upper level and trying to teach Juni something but you know Juni already knew it um, but he just he, Juni was just having fun looking at Jin being so happy because he can show Juni something um, if you haven't watched it go and watch it it's very cute uh, but it gives me that kind of feeling like Juni sometimes he would uh, stop himself from saying things in order to make Jin feel more happy and in order to like maintain the mood um, that's what it is about this card. Now we're looking at um, Yunyi's role and his connection with Jin. What is Yunyi's role in connection with Jin? Right? Huh, we've got eight of wands in reverse. Um, so yeah, like I think it, it goes well with what I said about the Knight of Chalices, the Ten of Pentacles, or uh, even the Hierophants or the Four of Wands. Um, Uni is the one; is is the taker, not like, not like that he only take but doesn't give. But it is the feeling what if whatever Jin wants to do, Uni would go with him. Like he would not question. You, uh, he would not question Jin's actions or say if Jin said let's go fishing you can say okay let's go fishing or let's let's read some book like he would never oppose to um, to Jin's proposal he would like because when they end up once it in uh, at the upright position like this um, this this person is kind of like take the offer in a very swift action and without a lot of contemplation or without a lot of thinking over over the action but uh, because it's in reverse I feel like Yungi would not be too excited or he would not be uh, too eager to eager to do, to do whatever it is that Chin's proposed but eventually he would go with him uh, anyway like he Maybe he would show a little bit of resistance because that's what he, that's that his personality. He would be like, ah, uh, not sure. But then eventually he would just go with Jin. Um, yeah, um, it's like because we always compare Yugi to cat, right? If you, if you call if you call your cat over, they would not come running to you. They would just like swaying around a little bit, but eventually they will come to you. Um, that's what cats are 
like they are like that cheeky, like playing hard to get kind of feeling. Um, but eventually, they will give in. Um, it doesn't take long for it to give in though. They just they showed up with a little bit of attitude, but um, that's not how they really feel. Um, and then the last tarot card we have would be um, how Yuki sees Jin in their connection. pretty easily today I like it oh oh wow okay <laughs> the ace of wands this is interesting um, it ha has a little bit of a similar energy with the knight of chalices as well inspiration uh, so to you we we to you Chin change is definitely uh, an inspiration so. Some can even say the muse. Should I say that? Can I say that? Because <laughs> look at this. Uh, this this card is literally painting this card here and the and the sun. Um, well, actually, he's painting the sun, but um, it's looking in the same direction. So they uh, Tuyuki jeans definitely inspired him a lot. And um, because we 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 got the sun here, so I feel like. Jin has shone a different light into Yungi's perspective because they they are totally different. Um, they have totally different personalities, right? So it feels like when Yungi looks at Jin, he, it feels like he's looking in an, in another world because the way Jin approached life is very different from what Yungi used to do. Um, so I feel like. Apart from inspiring um, Yungi, Jin also, it's like he opened up options or he showed Yungi a different perspective, uh, so to speak. Um, but yeah, definitely inspiration and motivation. Um, Oh, and it's also like maybe as as Jin who, who introduced Yuni into fishing and tried to get him on board with it. Um, and apart from fishing, there's something else as well. I'm, I'm not sure what it is. Drawing? Wait. Because <laughs> Yuni has been really into drawing this day, right? Like, what if one, like, one day we get a a drawing of Jin from Yugi, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> uh, no, but let's get some Oracle card. Um, let's get this one first. Let's get some, if we can get some more details on Yugi and Jin's connection. Oops. I'll take it. There are like three cards, but we'll take them. Um, a fiery climb. Climax approaches. Don't let your past hold you back and have faith in your dreams. What are they talking about? I love this card though. This card is beautiful. Uh, but what are they talking about? A fiery climax approaches. A fiery. Okay. So this could talk. This could be talking about. Um, when I when I heard fiery climax. How do I get this card? Uh, I immediately think about this queen at once because she's fiery and she's almost on a cliff right here. Um, ooh, okay. So maybe it could be something that um, it could be say it could be talking about the the tower moment. So it's not going to be too far off in the future. Um, something would happen um, that would eventually push Yuni and Chin to deal with this fat one, four pentacles, and eight of chalices. So the fiery climax. Um, well, yeah, but oh no, no. Why am I hearing this? <laughs> 
because okay give me a sec um okay i don't want to say this but because because we got this um don't let your past hold you hold you back and a fiery climax of purchase of this but I'm, I'm getting a link to Yungi's past his his um, bro well didn't he had a broken heart in the past um, well basically basically I'm getting a sense that his current love interest well they would I don't, I don't want to say this <laughs> But well, this is just one of the um, possibility. Okay, it's not. It's I don't know. I I don't want to say that it's definitely gonna happen. But this is what I see. Um, I am afraid that Yunki's current relationship or his current love interest will break up with him. Uh, that's why we have five climax. The, the queen of wands and the don't let your past hold you back because I'm afraid that you, you will fall back into that stage um, of self I know he's been very self confident lately but I don't want I don't want something like a breakup happen that would shatter his confidence his self worth and his self value I don't want that to happen but Somehow I get a link of of this to the to the past event that where this girl left him and he was he didn't he wrote a really sad song about it um I don't remember what song it is but that's what I'm getting with this tower moment as well um but we probably not gonna know if it happened or not but not to let have faith in your dreams uh so I feel like. Jin would always be there to comfort him, um, to get him, like, like, Jin would always be there for Yunki, for sure, um, even through, like, even in the past event, or like, up until this point, throughout the, whatever that will come in the future, um, Jin would just always be there for Yunki to lean on, um, and give him faith, we will get other card. Uh, why do we get extra information? That, what does it really affect his their relationship or their connection that much? Like they have to be really, really best friend just on 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 really another level. For the for a relationship, for a personal romantic relationship to act, to affect on their connection. So we will get some more oracle card. Yu and Jin's connection. Slow down, pause, and allow things to unfold. Slow down. Um. Slow down. Well, I think I got the same card in Yungi's reading this year as well. I don't know. Um, but it also gives me the feelings of like. Well, because they, they are um, in a pause um, with all the activities and works and, and probably their mental state as well these days. Um, So, oh, maybe it could, could also talk about the uh, five of wands. Um, this is like, you don't have to try to fight it, or you don't have to try to find a solution to it. Eventually things will show themselves kind of thing. Um, yeah, that's what I feel like. There's, there's not much both of them could do um, to solve the conflicts. They would just have to like wait it out, to wait for it to to reveal more details or to the, for them wait for it to develop to a stage that they can take actions. 
Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, also because we have this fiery climax as well, so like, there's nothing they can do about this climax approach. Um, Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. Oh, also this is also like have faith in your dreams and like the tower, the tower moments and inevitable. Um, but but the fact that well, because we have like your guidance is divinely guided to. I feel like the fact that. I feel like their connection and their relationship is, is divinely guided, like it's something that helped them um, with their spiritual journey or with their personal development and it's something very pressured to them, it's, some, it's a very a special bond um, that is like they have to be in each other's life and they, they played a very important in, in each other's life. Um, and nothing could break it, uh, not even with this conflicts going on here. Um, it, the conflicts that will be just a part of the journey for their connection to be deepened and to be more strong and tight and stable. Um, yeah, have, have faith in, in your dreams and each other um, because it will only gonna get. Um, stronger over time and I think now we're getting one last message about the connection between Jin and Yuki Ooh. my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing conflict into growth and fear into love whoa okay doesn't it go so well with what we've been talking about all the, um, all this reading um, it's all about faith and like healing, conflict, uh, turning into growth. Everything happens for a reason. Um, but the most important thing that is, is their connection, the connection between Jin and Yuki is very strong and is, is part of a solid foundation in their personal development that would help them to grow more. Um, it would help them to, you know, getting closer to their higher selves. Um, but yeah, they, they have each other's faith. They trust each other a lot, with the, like even with this ten of coins as well. Um, and they would be able to, they, they would be there for each other and help each other to grow a lot as well. Um, yeah. Wow, I did not expect all this information to came at me to come out in this reading, but as I said, I, I I'm just gonna take everything the cards give me. So that's it. That's the reading on Jean and Yunyi's connection. Um I hope you enjoy the reading. Um you can check out my other re readings um on the channels and if you really uh, if you did enjoy the readings please consider to subscribe to the channel. Um, and I'll see you in the next reading.